So hi everybody, Craig Hansen here and welcome to my video. Let's look at building your swing, getting this takeaway correct and uh, setting this swing off in a wonderful chain reaction. We're going to be looking at some great ball strikers here. Rory McIlroy on the left, one of the best swings, maybe the best in the world. Robert Rock, known as one of being one of the best swingers out there. And we're going to be looking at this takeaway. Now guys, later on in the video I'm going to show you how to do this, get in the correct feels and how to practice this. Now we're going to be looking at the pattern of over 95% of the tour professionals and controlling this club face. Now when we're controlling the club face and getting it in the correct position, you're going to get your shoulder planes correct. You're going to get the wrist alignments correct. It's going to give you the chance to get some compression, get some lag, get some power. This is arguably one of the most important areas of swing. I'm just going to show you what it is because many, many people around the world are having trouble with this. Now we're going to be looking at the pattern of the club head. The toe of the club now, people, is pointing up towards one o'clock. But when it comes down, you'll see Rory here, because of the loading on the wrist and the lag created, unable to create it from this position, we'll see that the club head now comes in slightly behind the hands. But interesting is that the toe of the club is pointing up towards 12 o'clock, just on the, this side of 12 o'clock. Now, guys, this is so, so important to uh, notice this, your club face control. So many people around the world are coming in with a club face here, pointed well over in between 11 and 12 o'clock. Okay, now from this position, we're going to be slicing the ball, less compression, we're going to be flipping the ball and having fats and thins and all sorts of things. Because when a club face is open, we have to flip it to square it up. But so many of the people around the world are coming in, Steve, we have over 40 million people. Now, looking at Robert Rock here, and we're looking at this evidence-based material. I mean, these guys aren't just doing it for fun. I mean, this is obviously bringing the club down in this position. It works, doesn't it? Both players and really uh, the exact position here. And we can see that, you know, from the sole of the club here or the toe of the club pointing up just on the side of 12 o'clock. Now, this pattern is repeated over and over again. Now, guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit the hit the button, hit the bell. There are plenty of videos coming your way on world-class golf instruction. We show you how to do this. We get in there and really teach you guys how to teach yourselves. Now here's Dodge Kemmer, an international tour player, wonderful ball striker, and we'll see the similar pattern here uh, of the club head here pointing up toward, and this is filmed with a mobile phone, phone guys, and you've all got a, a little uh, camera in your pocket and you don't know how to use it. And then we can set yourselves up uh, on, my, on World Class and Golf Instruction, we show you how to set your phones up and use an app and uh, really teach yourself and build your swing. There's no shortcuts, guys. You've got to get your hands on the right information. If all these guys are in the same position, uh, and you're not. Well, that makes sense to get yourself closer and closer to these positions. Now, having a look at that, right up again, exact same position. Now, we'll have a look at Brooks Kirpke here, and uh, we'll see that in the video here, it's, it's a little bit of a different style of, uh, of backswing. But what we're we gonna be looking at, we'll just take it a little bit further up, okay? Because he takes the club a little bit on the outside hands, but we're still gonna see the same pattern. So, whether or not we're slightly outside the hands or slightly inside the hands, you're going to still see the same move. Okay, now we've got the sole of the toe of the club pointed more over here and between one and two o'clock. Now it's going to come down and we'll see this now. You'll see the chains of wrists and, and the lag and the load on the club. And once again, this club now coming down into a position where very, very similar. So they're very, very similar into entry. Now guys, if you are over here with the club face closed or the club face open, you're going to have <laughs> directional issues and you're gonna have contact issues. So now guys, let's get into how we actually create this with a drill, with a feel, and get ourselves you know, on the best path to build and build a great golf swing. So hi everybody, Craig Hansen here. We're gonna be looking at takeaway and getting a takeaway into a perfect position and how to practice it so that it stays there. All right, we're going to incorporate this a little bit into our waggle as well. And we're going to be using the oversized club to illustrate that. And guys, this is also going to set up your entire backswing and getting your shoulder planes and getting things moving in the correct direction. And we'll show you how to do it. Oh yeah, please, uh, please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Uh, leave your comments and your questions below. Hit the like button if you like the video. It helps me out. And uh, guys, check out worldclassgolf.com, World Class Golf Instruction. Um, probably the most detailed platform out there. And if you jump on, it's two weeks free. So I think you'll enjoy it. You can cancel anytime you like, but uh, join the community, having a lot of fun. So when we're looking at this takeaway, we're looking at creating the right wrist angle, the face control that we're after so that we can get some lag, compression and some power, some speed and get on top of this with one basic thought, right? just to set this club off in the right direction. And that is when the club is parallel to the ground, 
I think that's about parallel there. What we're looking at is getting that sole of that club pointed towards one o'clock, that would be 12, okay? So the right hand is breaking down. Now, you want to position that club level with your hands. You can all see that when that's not level with the hands, that is, okay? So if you're practicing, you can just see that yourself, going no, no, level with the hands, okay. And have a look at that right hand and how it breaks back on itself, okay? So this is how you're gonna get power, this is how you get speed, and this is how you get on plane, right? Is this right hand and breaking it back effectively. If you break the top of this right hand, the back of the right hand to the back of this forearm, the club will set back on itself. You're gonna get good angle, speed accumulator out of this right wrist. You're gonna position this hand moving backwards in this fashion. It has to move downwards to do that. Moving downwards to one o'clock, and once we have that angle working at one o'clock and that wrist breaking back on itself, you get angle, you get plane. If you don't have any angle in this, it's gonna be steep, okay? So getting that what right hand, one o'clock, and just, you can use that with your waggle, right? So you don't have to think a whole bunch. You get in there and you just, your sweet spot points towards the ball. So if you're gonna waggle, you know, you're gonna practice every time you pick up the club, you know, you're not gonna be fanning it. Because you, you don't want to be fanning anything open because it lifts shoulders up and it's just nasty stuff. So you want to be getting your shoulder planes, you know, nice and yard over the ball, getting your left arm running up that, getting your wrist alignments good. So if you get this part correct here, your wrist alignments are going to be great. It keeps stuff down and away, creates power. And it's from this position where you can create some lag, right? So if you see people, professional golfers, right, you'll see them at one o'clock, when they get some lag, and some drag on that grip, the club will come down and be level with the hands slightly behind the hands with the sole then at 12. So it goes, this pattern, that 95% of pros, one o'clock, lag it down, 12 o'clock. A lot of the general public, 12 o'clock, coming down, they have the face then way open and that's when they start to flip and cast, hit fat shots, thin shots, adding artificial loft, not very good. So this start of this takeaway, assuring you've got a modern day grip, three knuckles, get that right hand to move down and away from you. Not in this direction, not in this direction, into here, waggle, get that wrist, that right hand to work down and that sets off a lovely position, a lovely chain reaction and getting all your components moving beautifully so that you can assemble yourselves at the top of your swing.